Let's talk. Women talk. What gives someone the courage to make a mid-career switch? Today we meet a woman who decided to do that and became a cellist even though she's hardly played the cello before. She also started an orchestra that welcomes musicians even if they've never played an instrument to help them to fulfil their dreams and enjoy the process of music making. Watch this unsung heroine right here on Women Talk Pulse. <laughs> Hi, I'm Janelle Kam and I'm the founder of the Kapolate Status Orchestra in Singapore. My first paycheck, I went to get a cello. And I didn't start immediately because the work was just crazy. And it got in the way and it got in the way and then the cello just sat there for many years. I officially started maybe about year 2000. Yeah, and then uh, now, so now it's been about 17 years, 18 years. So I told myself if I live past the millennial, like 2000, I should, and we all don't die, and it's not the end of the world, I should go do something stupid, right? So yeah, so I did. So after year 2000, I decided to just quit and go into cello. I think part of me wanted to kind of do something for myself. If I didn't have a job anymore, and I didn't have a career at all, what can I say that I did with my life? You know, um, just something that I felt very strongly about. I really didn't want to just walk through and then just say, oh, I. I just walked through my life. I chose a hard path. I chose a path that's um, less trodden. It's not something that I was talented in. It's not something that um, I've been doing since young. It's not something that comes naturally. Everybody had something to say. I probably might not make it. The fact that I sound like a dying cow from day one is not going to help very much. Yeah, so they had, they had their doubts, you know, like, where do you want to go? Like, why? And I didn't want to be sitting on my deathbed and going, oh, I should have done this. You know, I should have done it when I had a chance. So I thought, I'm not going to answer the questions why. I just keep going and then see where it goes. It's a mental exercise for me. It's getting closer to what I heard at 15 every day. I think that keeps me going. And then, of course, now transferring that knowledge to my students. I see them struggle the same things that I was doing like 10 years ago. And then you realise that, oh, yeah, maybe there is a reason why I spent that long ploughing at it because now I can finally explain it. I suppose it helped that I joined a community orchestra as well. There are quite a few orchestras out there, but if you're starting late and you're not there yet, there's nothing for you. And I really enjoyed my time with the community orchestra. I mean, I enjoyed playing with people, I enjoyed meeting others who were, who were also having day jobs and then just coming on a weekend just to play. We did concerts together. Uh, it wasn't very, very good concerts, but we were happy with what we were doing. And I thought I could bring that to, to people who were not allowed into traditional orchestras. I wanted an orchestra that was non-judgmental, that you could come in with zero music background and slowly learn the instrument, play whatever you can, and no one there is going to give you the evil eye. The interesting thing was that uh, it brought together a lot of people who were either interested and never got started, or they started like 20 years ago and gave it up because they had kids, because they had work. I think the first time that we got together, it was nerve-wracking. It was nerve-wracking because you had no idea where they were coming from. All different levels, everybody meeting together in the same room. Yeah, it was mad. <laughs> Well, there was not much music coming out of that night, I think. But there was a lot of laughter, there was a lot of fun. I call them musicians because they play from within. They play because they love music, they play because they love the instrument. Um, I've never seen musicians come for rehearsal so happy. They make a point, even if they can't come, uh, they knock off work late, they come for the last half an hour, they would. It's not about the quality of the music. It's not about um, whether they play well. They'll make mistakes during the concert and they'll grin their way through, but after that, they laugh about it and then we move on. I, I think that's part of music making. It's instantaneous, you get the, you get the instant rewards, but you also get the instant frustrations. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's this bunch. They're an incredible bunch. Many, many musicians wonder whether it's possible whether it's even feasible in the first place to get people who don't know music to make music. It's a very alien concept and it shouldn't be. I feel it shouldn't be. Um, 
we all know how difficult it is as a musician. Um, how many hours you need to put in. Um, these people don't have that number of hours. Some of them only have one day a week for music and they choose to give it to their couple and I feel very strongly about that. When we've spent too long um, ploughing at an instrument, trying to be professional at it, we forget um, that music is about enjoying yourself. Music is people, it's, it's people's voices, it's people's sound. And if they want to make that sound and they, want, they are happy doing it, then who are we to say that they're not good enough? Maintaining the non-judgmental, the, the safe environment, that's really difficult. Overcoming the, the psychological uh, barriers of adults and trying to slowly get them out of their comfort zone, getting them used to feeling lost, um, that is okay to be lost. I feel many people in cities will need the existence of that couple because it's easy to get lost. It's easy to lose your way, and I think that's what that couple is. It's, it's, a, it's a retreat away from your usual life. If, if there's any time to start, you start enjoying making music now. Yeah. And whatever means, even if it's not a string instrument, start getting involved in making music, start enjoying what you do. I think for me, empowerment would be the ability to choose something that you want to do with your life, something that you find meaningful and not knowing where you're going to go, but you start it. I think that's empowerment.